gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids using the uh, Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand Sable 20. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that in using my finger. And for the eyes, I am gonna use this new palette that I have. It's from Too Faced, the Chocolate Gold Palette. And I'm gonna start using the shade Rolling in Dough as um, just to set my eyes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move to So Bougie for my transition shade. And then I'll mix in some cocoa truffle just to add some depth in the um, outer part of the eye. And then with a flat shader brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade Rich Girl and apply that um, all over the eyelid. And then I'm going to go back in with Cocoa Truffle and just take that on the outer part of my eyelid and kind of just blend it, buff it all in. And now I'm going to go back into that Transitions shade, um, it's called So Bougie, and I'm just going to take that all over, um, make sure that there's no harsh lines and everything's just blended in together. And for foundation, I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Foundation, and I got mine in the color Light Tan. And I'm using a Morphe sponge, the uh, contour and highlighting sponge. Um, I like it, it is just a little bit too hard. I think I prefer my Maybelline. And for the foundation, I got the color light tan, but it's a little bit too dark for me. So I did mix in some of the NARS Pure Rating Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Alaska. And now I'm going to go ahead and highlight and use that same concealer that I use for my eyelids. Um, it's the Fit Me by Maybelline. And I'm going to go ahead and just set my entire face. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier uh, setting powder and translucent. And I'm going to lightly just set my entire um, face. I don't like to use too much of this product because I don't like my skin to look dry. Um, so just lightly going to go ahead and set all of my face. And now to bronze the skin, I'm going to go ahead and use my Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula and mine is in the shade Deep Bronzer.
And now to contour, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Koki Professionals contouring palette. And I've heard that this is a dupe for the Kat Von D. And I'm gonna take the lightest shade on the second row, the one that has a more of a grayish tone to it, and I'm gonna use that to contour. And I'm gonna take my Morphe Y10 brush to do that. Um, this is a really good brush because it's really precise and it gets it right where you need it. Now I'm going to use some blush um, from Pretty Vulgar in the shade Make Them Blush. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and take some of the Cocoa Truffle and smudge that all over the bottom lash line using a uh, Real Techniques uh, smudge brush. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight, do some inner corner highlight and some brow bone highlight. And I'm going to use the Fenty Hustler Baby Highlighter. To make that highlighter pop even more, um, I like to set just uh -huh. the upper tops of the cheekbones with some dewy uh, spray mist and I'm using the one by Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. For the lips, I'm going to go ahead and use the Milani uh, Amour Shine in the color Charming. 